Hi, today I'm installing a roof vent cover over my bathroom vent. I leave my trailer in my land and it's sealed up for about a week at times and it'd be nice to leave that, be able to leave the roof vent open. Unfortunately, I can't do that because of rain and bugs and everything else. So um, I'm installing this so hopefully I can leave it open all the time. When you first open the package, there's going to be a single package of hardware. I broke this up into the small hardware that's used to hold the brackets onto the vent. The large hardware set, which is used to hold the, the lid onto the brackets. And finally, the four brackets themselves. There's a set of four for each. Okay, what I've done is uh, with the 3 16ths drill, I've drilled the two holes on this side. I can hardly make them out. Um, I try to drill these high up. There we go. High up on the uh, metal to try to get as much clearance off the top of the, the roof as I could. There's two on this side. Um, I'll come back when I've got the, the two brackets in place. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, before I even put the brackets on, I had to put a mark on uh, under each where each bracket was going to go and use that as a guide for drilling this 3 16 hole. Um, what you do is you take this plastic cover and put it in place. Uh, you figure out where it's going to go over the, over the vent on the inside. And just make two little X marks like I did. My tools are in the way. Two little X marks. Use that as a guide for drilling your hole. Okay, I'm on the inside of the trailer underneath the, the fan and the cover. Just want to show you one thing that's important. Uh, when you put this in position, you have to make sure if you can see the actual lid, the normal cover for the, the vent. Um, you have to make sure that doesn't interfere, especially on the front, but the two sides as well. So just crank it up and down a few times though. This one, I don't know about other models, but this one definitely I can't crank it up as high, but that's fine. I mean, it's going to do the job. I'm going to be able to keep it open, keep the uh, vent open. I want to ventilate in here when I'm not not in the trailer. Um, but, so you can't have it hit on the front and the two sides. It's also possible. It's possible to move the thing around once you get it in place um, until you tighten it down. So it looks good. I'm going to go up the top again and tighten it down. Well, it's in place and operating. And uh, one thing I want to mention, and I probably said this in the directions if I had bothered to read them, um, definitely do not over tighten these. You can see this one, uh, the lid there, um, is bent a little because I had to uh, hank it down all the way um, so I to push out. So I backed it off, pushed it back into place, and just uh, a little bit more than snug. And this seems to not be going anywhere. I'll just keep checking on it for a while at least. Especially after I drive. You can see. A nice uh, fair amount of uh, clearance. I guess if I'm going to get in there and uh, die core around the van, I'm going to have to take this off. It's not a big deal. I should take it off to clean anyways. Um, so it's in place. Hopefully, uh, I think you can probably hear it operating. What the front has is this uh, grill, and on the inside is kind of a filter. I assume it's washable. Take it out and uh, wash it by twice a year at least. I want a die core. There you go. It looks pretty good. Uh, the airflow seems to be decent. Um, obviously, I don't think it's going to be what it was, but. You do get uh, air moving out of that back vent, and uh, you also get air, you can feel it coming out from underneath. You can feel it all the way out here, actually, blowing out. So, I think it's going to be pretty good. Well, thanks for watching.